Well, hello. This is October 31st. Yes, it's Halloween. And yet I wanted to show you something fun. Um, I'm not going to wear this the whole time, but I am curious as how many people might recognize it. Um, I did pick it up in New Orleans, and it was quite fun. So anyway, but it's going to drive me crazy to do this video that we're covering new listings in Loveland over the last week. So let's go just to the headset. You know, isn't this great? I just, uh, feathers and sparklies. It's going to be a great day to wear it. I um, wanted to share with you, and uh, sorry, my phone just texted me. In the, well, not my phone, but somebody did. You know, Friday, we've had the snowstorm last week on Wednesday. So Friday, here was my back deck. And today, this is what my deck looks like. Look at that beautiful sunshine. Look at the trees. Yeah, there's a little bit of snow out there. We have frost on things. But I thought it'd be fun to share that with you. So let's get started because you want to see what the new listings are today in Loveland. Oh, yes, by the way, as crazy as I am, this is Nancy Garnand with 3MAX Alliance. My phone number is 970-622-1846. And you don't have to watch this video. You can just let me know that you want to see homes or search for homes. I don't care if you're four years out, six years out. Um, you can use my website for information to help you get to know the area. I have community links, and I keep updating it. In fact, it's probably time to do another major update to it. So let's get started. This is the Loveland, and you can see we have a lot of water here. We're at the foothills of the mountains, and we actually hold a lot of water for irrigating and Greeley farmers and, and the Front Range, and some of that water is now going to the cities. So we have one at West 44th. It's 142.9. Um, I was looking to see if it was bank owned, and it looks like it might be. Um, let me go take a look here real quick. Lender owned, yeah, it sure is. So it looks like it's actually been in a pretty good shape, and maybe that's one of the houses I've seen and put a new roof on. Best deal, move in Loveland on Chestnut at 144. It's a three bedroom, one bath. Looks like it has a washer and dryer with it. It's really in pretty good shape. So not a bad price, and they want five days for bank response. 906 Heather at 145. Look at all of these at 145. This is pretty amazing. Attached to car garage, property sold as is. They want you to verify everything else. Of course, no take, no responsibility. 833 Berry And you know, I'm just thinking, I set someone up to search for homes starting at 170. I think I need to drop it down. There's some great prices here. And this one's a three bedroom, two bath. Albany 1622 is 150. Another three bedroom. Two bath. Now this one they said possible owner carry. Apparently, due to the roof, it will not go FHA or VA. So 20% down, you can do conventional. But we still need to deal with this roof and find out what's really going on. Now we know they took this picture on Wednesday because you just saw my pictures and how nice it looked. This is a two bedroom, two bath for two four hundred fifty. Uh, 321 West 4th Street in Loveland is a super cute bungalow on the west side, according. This is a short sale, so it'll commissions will be split 50-50. Split and here we have some new construction in Boise Village, Norge. More new construction, more new construction. Um, West 9th, uh, Dinas, I think this one should be new construction, but it's not. It was built in 1948, and there's no picture there for us yet. This one's back to the new construction in Harrison at 210. It's almost all new. That's interesting to know. It's got no garage, though, so if you want a garage, and that's important, and then you're showing you more pictures about the area than they are about the house. Back to new construction in Boise Village North. Thompson Overlook. This is a subdivision just south of... Um, here's Safeway. Here's Kmart over here. And this is a new area that... Um, Midland Homes is going to start, Midtown Homes is going to start building in. So um, just another new area that they're doing, and a little bit higher price point, as you can see. This one on Harding was built in 1997, and it's move-in ready, two-story home in Shadow Hills. It looks like it's actually move-in ready, and it looks like it needs someone to move in now. Harrison, 4300 Harrison Avenue, there's no comments. And interestingly enough, there's pictures. Let's see if they take it. Oh, they do. It looks pretty nice inside, actually. Platte Court, 285. It's a two-story in Horseshoe Lake. Um, this one is not a Don Burns build. I'm not sure who built it. But, it, well, actually, it could be now that I think about it. Let's see. He builds a nice, sturdy home, and I really like his building. 
This one is the last ex home on the day, Golf Vista, 449,497 is the address. It backs up to the golf course, and it's a great home. It's got a lot of space, and it's been on the market for a while. Let's take a look at the list in history. See, they started this thing out almost 500,000, and now down for 450. So take a look at it. It needs some updating, and maybe they've taken care of some of that. But it's a great location at the Mariana Butte Golf Course. So this is Nancy Garnand at REMAX Alliance. I hope you're having an awesome Halloween day. And tomorrow we'll cover the new listings in Fort Collins.